Welcome back everyone to today's video. We're going to be looking at your ECMWF 42 day forecast for the weather over the next month and as we move into December. Um, thanks everyone for the support lately. Um, we will have another winter update coming soon, so stay tuned for that. I'm not going to waste any time though. Uh, we're going to get stuck in straight into this right now. So if you didn't already know, <clears throat> high pressure is the orange and red, low pressure is the blues. And we have current for week one, which is the let me widen it a bit. For week one, which is the tenth to the seventeenth of November, we are looking like this. High pressure is blocking around Greenland, Iceland, low pressure is out to the south and southwest. That we are still gonna bring in a milder and wetter unsettled southwesterly with that even though we are going to have a bit of a battleground with winds trying to drag down from a colder northerly direction as well temperatures based on that for week one are looking like this as i said colder temperatures digging into northern ireland and scotland and the rest of the country is still uh, above average at that point scandinavia is starting to drop and iceland is much below average the rest of europe is fairly uh, mild at the moment precipitation anomalies based on that week one are looking like this um, we are wetter than average for most of the country a bit drier for parts of scotland and northern, northern ireland once again but overall pretty wet and unsettled there Week 2 is the 17th to the 24th of November, we are looking like this, so high pressure pulls out more towards Greenland and Iceland just there, forming a mid-Atlantic block. Um, low pressure has dropped over northeastern Europe, and we are going to be bringing the winds in from a colder northeasterly direction, um, as the low pressure has been pushed southwards there, so we will be turning colder just there. Uh, temperatures based on that week 2. Uh, once again, we're turning colder widely across Europe um, and pretty below average. And I think it'll start to feel a lot like winter with some wintry conditions over higher ground above 200 metres, I would say. Precipitation, um, it's drier for the western side. Maybe a little bit, some wintry showers in the east. Um, but overall, it's um, becoming more dry and settled for week two. Week 3 is the 24th of November to Monday the 1st of December. Uh, we've got high pressure sitting over Greenland Iceland once again and into the mid-Atlantic and to a south a bit. Uh, low pressure once again over Scandinavia. That's going to be a bit of a battle. We might have it trying to come round the ridge like that. I'm still pretty cold. Or we'll have it coming from a colder, a much colder northeasterly direction. Temperatures, I don't know if they'll pick up very well now. So, temperatures for week three, they say milder, but based on that chart, it's not going to be milder. It'll be much colder than average. Um, so, I say we are around average or a little bit below because um, temperatures start to lose signal around week three. Precipitation, we look um, pretty, I think we look drier in the west, um, but for most central parts of the UK and Europe, really, we are pretty unsettled. Week 4 is the 1st of December to the 8th of December. It looks like we're going to have a bit of a battle going on. The Atlantic starting to ramp back up again. A ridge to the south around Spain and Portugal and blocking around Greenland. Iceland low pressures once again over Scandinavia. We're either going to bring it in from that direction or that direction. We're a bit of a battleground, all sorts of fun and games with that. Um, some snow events are possible as we move into December. Temperatures once again, it's the same above average, but they won't be. And precipitation for week four, we are looking um, more unsettled than average. Week five is the 8th to the 15th of December. Oh, take a look at this. High pressure blocking around Greenland, Iceland and Scandinavia. Um, the Atlantic's gone to the south. The jet stream's doing something like that. No, not like that. Something like that. Um, low pressure is going to be troughed in through here as well, and it looks like we're going to be in the pretty cold um, easterly wind there, if I'm being honest. We could get some parts of the south just getting into them westerlies, but to be honest, if that setup comes off, it looks very, very cold indeed. Um, 
so December shaping up to possibly be very cold. Winds originating from somewhere up there. Um, that reminds me of something I can get in the background. Take a look at that. Same sort of setup. To the beast. Very interesting indeed. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Looks like we are setting up for a very blocked start to the winter by the ECMWF. Week 5 temperatures, once again, we are actually going below average there. Um, it doesn't look like it, but we're definitely going to be below average. If we earn that easterly winds, we'll probably be in the freezer. So, we're definitely going below average there. And precipitation, based on that, we are turning drier as the Atlantic is blocked off and the more unsettled weather will be pushed to our south. And f finally, week 6 is the 15th to the 22nd of December, getting towards Christmas. Take a look at this, everyone. High pressure once again blocking around Greenland, Iceland, Scandinavia. Low pressure, um, the Atlantic bringing milder weather to the more southern parts of Europe. And we are probably low pressure through here as well. We're going to be in the easterly winds once again. Take a look at that. Winds originating from somewhere up there. Very, very cold for week six, just there. Um, temperatures based on that. Probably not going to be any signal. Uh, no, but <clears throat> we will be cold. You can see the colder signal where there's a gap through here. All this area will be colder if that came off. Um, very, very interesting indeed. And precipitation based on week six. Uh, maybe a little bit more unsettled for the south where the Atlantic is trying to push back. But most of Europe is drier than average in them very cold easterly winds. What do you make of that, everyone? <coughs> Sorry about that, everyone. Uh, some good signals if you're looking for a cold December there from the ECMWF. Um, I think the temperature anomalies aren't just on it today. Um, they don't seem to be um, right. But the pressure charts look very, very good. If you're looking for a cold end to November and start to December. And sort of a beast from the east type pattern setting up. Which is very, very interesting for early winter. Well, we are done for today's first video. And your ECMWF 42 day forecast. Thanks everyone for tuning in. And we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.